My beanie. She's so cute. I made you a bed. Come here. Come here. Ever since I was like um, six or seven, I've had really irrational fears of like illness and sickness and germs. And I actually went to a child therapy place. It was like a mental health counseling place, but for children. And my parents took me when I was like a kid because I couldn't like really function properly um, in my everyday life. Everything would just take me way longer to do because I would be one, like washing my hands excessively or washing parts of my body that touched things excessively or just like not wanting to breathe in certain spaces that I felt were unclean. I would run away if like someone coughed or sneezed in like the dollar store. One time I remember this like little kid puked in a store that I was in and like I started having a panic attack. <laughs> It's not funny. I mean, <laughs> like, I still struggle with these things today. Right when you think they're gone, they like come back and they're like, actually, we're going to give you another hurdle to jump over and like another way that we're going to test your um, strength and your coping skills. Yeah, I'm really paranoid because I got an email that said that there was a COVID case in my Monday spin class. And I immediately went to the convenience store, bought like an at-home COVID test, like the rapid tests. I was negative. Now it's Saturday and I'm getting really in my head. And I think my brain is like, oh, now's the time you would start feeling symptoms. Like it's almost like my brain is trying to make me think that something's wrong and trying to convince me of stuff. But like, I don't know what is real and what's not. I think that's the problem with like my kind of anxiety is like, I'll feel a little sensation in my body and I actually can't distinguish whether it's really happening or whether it's my mind making it happen or whether it's my mind thinking that I feel something that actually isn't going on in my body. I kind of wanted to like go and take another COVID test but we'll just like wait a couple days and see how I feel. Um, and also we're gonna be getting COVID tests before we go up to see my, my grandpa and my family for Christmas. And that's like in a week and a half-ish. <coughs> <clears throat> anyway, um, now I'm like, can I talk properly? Like, is there something wrong with my voice? Like, is there something wrong with like my vocal cords right now? Is there something wrong with my throat? Like, I feel like my throat might be a little bit scratchy, but maybe I'm just thinking about it too hard. Okay. Y'all want to see what Lauren got me for Christmas? We did our little gift exchange today. Well, one of the things you can't see because it's explicit. Um, <laughs> actually, two of the things you can't see because they're both explicit. <laughs> no, three. Um, three? What was the third one? Oh. <laughs> here's a tea from David's Tea called Cold 911. Lauren got me these Hunter Hunter um, slippers. Oh, are you wearing them? One of them has Gone, one of them has, um, fuck's his name? Uh, Kilawa. Kilawa. I got Lauren these cute little socks with mushrooms on them. Me! Oh, I need to put my slippers on. And some slippers. Can you take my socks off? This looks like we're making a sex tape. How it starts no. with the socks. And then okay. you put the slippers on. Here's the freaking tea of the day. Anxiety. Where's it beyond me? It's in there. It's in the green package. We went to the LCBO because apparently they had like free rapid tests that you could like take home and do here. Um, but they were all sold out and we had to trek in a snowstorm to get it. So that was quite unfortunate. 
Then we went to the convenience store where they sell rapid tests and they were all out there too. So Lauren said that they're hoarding rapid tests now like they did when the pandemic first started with toilet paper. My body is healthy. I am healthy. What's today's date? Uh, I just shaved my hoo-ha, so that's good news. St. Joseph's. Oh. <clears throat> I don't have any pants on. You can't get me. I'm not getting you in it. It takes 51 minutes to get there. Yeah. Already had a crying fit, so you don't need to see that, but... Now we're just gonna focus oh, on getting I better. Tomorrow. Hey y'all, what's going on? Just drinking my uh, honey lemon and ginger tea that I made myself. It's delicious. I put some green tea in it too for a little extra boost. I actually, I haven't had coffee yesterday or today. Wow, that is the longest I've been without coffee. <laughs> But it's good, I'm going on a little coffee cleanse. I feel like we all need that sometimes. I feel like I've learned a lot so far um, with being sick and all. One, that your mindset really does make a difference when you're ill. Because if you are pitying yourself, if you're like, oh poor me, oh my God, I'm so sick. <laughs> like, I think it's gonna take a little bit longer for you to recover and get better. If you say, no, that's okay, like my immune system is strong, I am getting better every single day, stuff like that, then you'll start to believe it if you repeat it enough times. Before I went to bed last night and the night before, and I think the night before, I listened to this like affirmations meditation on Insight Timer and it was like affirmations for health or something. And I honestly feel like it's really, really helped. Like yesterday I felt pretty shitty, but I woke up this morning really positive and feeling physically better too. Sometimes I think that we get sick for a reason. I feel like it kind of gives you a chance to like slow down and take a look at your life and take a look at why you might need this rest right now. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, Kara, shut the fuck up. Take it or leave it, honestly. Yeah, it sucks that like I won't be able to go up to visit my family for Christmas. Like this is happening like a week before Christmas, which is the worst timing ever. Lauren and I both can't see our families, so um, oh. that sucks, but. I have a surprise. What? In case I forget, you, gotta, you need to know too. But I ordered us a Bunner's vegan chicken pot pie so that we could have like some sort of holiday. Aww. <laughs> and I know you really like chicken pot pie. I love chicken. So I got, I ordered one from Bunners this morning. I That's so nice. made the deadline, like barely made the deadline. Aww, yeah. thank you. That's so sweet. Cause we're gonna be quarantining. So I know. I wanted to get a sub sort of Aww. meal. Yay. I'm not sick by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. I know, right? That's so exciting. <laughs> I ordered and I was like, best money I've ever spent. Literally. Because I've been le reading this, um, actually three books by Louise Hay. I don't know if you're even interested, but Louise Hay is like a spiritual guru. And this book has three books in it. It has, you can heal your life, you can heal your body, and the power is within you. So if you're interested in like mindset and like how what you put out into the universe comes back to you and even just like a little bit of inspiration I definitely recommend those books. It's really helping me um, get through this winter and get through this Miss Rona action <laughs> Look at us go We are not playing around. We are getting right to the healthy shit pro tip um you should eat the ginger. If you're having like honey, lemon, and ginger tea, you should eat the ginger in the bottom that's been like soaked in all that good hot water. Yes. Oh my God, it looks such like a grandma right now. <laughs> well, the sweater does not help. Okay, we're gonna eat now. Love you, pray for us. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Tuesday. It feels like fucking, it's been two months. Just eating my breakfast, you know, cause we don't have any like other breakfast foods. And I don't like love oatmeal, but this is the only thing we have and I 
I can't finish it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. There's Wilhelmina. Willow. Oh, hi, baby. Lauren's feeling worse today. Don't show me. It's confidential. I shit. won't. Lauren's working from home, which is good that Lauren can do that because, like, we don't want them to go into work, you know? <laughs> no. I feel like about the same slash a little bit better. The only thing that isn't better is my anxiety. Like, for some reason, I woke up last night so fucking paranoid, like, in the middle of the night, and I was up for two and a half hours because I couldn't sleep because I was thinking about Rona. I honestly think, like, all the hype around Rona does not make it easier to, like, get through it once you actually have it because there's so much, like, fear out there that you're like, oh my god, what if this happens? Oh my god, I feel a little pain in my chest. Oh my god, what does this mean? But I'm really, I'm really, I'm trying. I'm doing a good job, I think. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying right now. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Yeah, you're going insane. <laughs> Um, Lauren and I need to go on a walk today or else. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. We're all gonna lose our marbles in here. <laughs> and like, it's only day like, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's only day three, two. If you count Sunday, it's day three. Let me just say it's day three because I want to feel like it's been longer than it actually is. <laughs> but I'm really grateful Lauren's here. Love that bitch. <laughs> So what are we doing here, Lauren Rice? Wait, it's really dark. Um, I think I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a rapid test. Yeah. I don't really know what I'm doing. Because all the PCRs are booked up in Toronto until literally 2022. <laughs> we have one booked for next week. Yeah, we have one booked for next week, but is there really a point at that point, you know? Ooh, my hair. Oh no, uh, wait, I opened it and I didn't put the juice in. No, it's fine, just put the juice in. You want me to hold the swab? No, because you're icky. That's so rude. <gasps> oh, fuck! What'd you do? A lot of it just went on the counter. That's enough. It goes to the first line. <gasps> I fucking hate this! <clears throat> you can do it. <laughs> I guess it doesn't help I'm pointing a camera in your face. <laughs> Woo! Woo, God bless. Ooh, you went really far up there. Bean. Bean. Whoa, Bean. Whoa, you always do that when the camera's on. You hungry? Oh, yes. Oh, it's still recording? <laughs> Bean, you, you want to drink my snot? Ew. No. 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 Whoa, that's cool how it does that. Now we wait. It still says negative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what the fuck is happening? We're running out of laundry. Yeah, we we also ran out of face cream, but we can't go get anything. Um, we're also out of capers. <laughs> capers? <laughs> the essential. <sighs> um, we're also out of bread and eggs, which are kind of actually essential not capers oh wait did we do a timer did you do don't a timer? breathe on it <laughs> bye ew, ew. lauren <laughs> that's so gross make it make sense it literally says that i'm negative that doesn't make any sense it's not good because my first day of symptoms was technically yesterday yeah like yesterday because i had a sore throat and i had a massive headache yeah and then today you feel worse <clears throat> today's yeah today's much worse but our friend katie said that like her first day of symptoms she was still negative and then the second day of symptoms then she was positive i shoved it up there too y'all are witnesses and for those wondering if these actually work kira's tested positive when they yeah did. so like they should work Muffin. that's so fucking weird hey no <laughs> i want to Oh, that was so pretty. Sneak <laughs> peek. Sneak peek. What's Lauren working on? We don't know. We can't say yet, but it's going to be. <laughs> Woo. Just something to tickle your titty. So, we got COVID for Christmas. Mm. What a what a wonderful gift, you know? Like, I've, I've always... 
I've always wished for this to happen and then it happened and then it was, it was, yeah. Shit happens sometimes and um, you just gotta find, find the lesson out of, out of it all. So it's been eight days since I first tested positive. Lauren didn't end up getting another test, but Lauren had the exact same symptoms as me in like the exact same order. So we just assume that also Lauren had it as well or has it still. We're still self isolating until next Tuesday or something. So we have a bit to go, but in general, I'm really, really grateful because we were both vaccinated and it could have been a lot worse. Like to be honest, it was not that bad. I think the worst part about it was not being able to go see family for Christmas and also anxiety. <laughs> Honestly, the anxiety was probably worse than any physical symptom of COVID I got. Um, on like last Sunday, I had like a lot of body aches. I was really tired. Um, I was coughing, like I had some chills and stuff like that. And then after that, it was mainly just like sinus congestion, a little bit of a headache here or there. Phlegm. <coughs> I hate that word. I hate that word. For the most part, I'm feeling like really good today. Probably like 98%. I'm really grateful that um, I was able to at least be with Lauren throughout this process because it was very scary. It's just wild. Like. I had no idea like how quickly this like wave was coming and then all of a sudden like at me and everyone I knew got sick. Christmas definitely sucked, but at least I was with Lauren, at least I was with Willow, you know, we were safe, we were feeling okay. It really broke my heart seeing like people being all happy with their families like on Instagram. So I ended up like deleting the app. It's still deleted actually because it was just like making me super fucking depressed. <laughs> And I know like a lot of people probably weren't happy and even if they were with their family and even if COVID wasn't involved like Christmas is always like Christmas is always like a time when there's a lot of emotions that come up in families and mine is no no stranger to drama So thanks for going on this journey with me <laughs> I'm glad that you're here with me to, you know, every day with the little updates. It definitely boosted my spirits. Sending love and hugs and peace and recovery to all of you who did catch COVID, for all of you who have family and friends who did, um, who are affected by it in any way. That's it. That's all I have for you today. I will see you tomorrow because this is going up tomorrow. So I love you. Stay safe. Here's a hug. And I will see you in my next video.